What is up, bros and brats? I am Ink Slasher, and welcome to another episode of Top 10 Paint Jobs, the series where we look at the weapon paint jobs as submitted by you guys. Today, we've got 10 incredible paint jobs, like I said, submitted by you guys, the viewers. Now, if you would like to submit your paint jobs or emblems to a future video, the way to do so is to get a high-resolution screenshot from in-game and send them to at ink slasher on twitter and simply by doing that your emblem or paint job will be automatically submitted to a future episode just like this one now as far as this episode if you enjoy this kind of thing if you like the top 10 paint jobs top 10 emblems kind of videos and you want to see more of them the best way to show me is by simply hitting that like button the last couple episodes of this didn't get as many likes as they have in the past so just like i said if you enjoy this kind of thing and want me to keep making more of them the way to show me is just by hitting that like button. Also, I thought I'd let you guys know that my Twitter is also an awesome place to stay up to date on everything revolving around this channel. Whether I'm complaining about something in Call of Duty or letting you guys know some updates about videos, my Twitter is the place to be. So like I said, it'll be the first link down in the description and it'll be the way you submit your paint jobs and emblems and it's the best way to stay up to date on my channel. So without further ado, let me shut up and let's dive in to the top 10 paint jobs this week. So coming in at number 10, we've got one by Absalom Gonzalez 1. I think I got your name right there, man. Um, but this one is, of course, Snoopy from Charlie Brown or Peanuts. And as far as this paint job goes, I was actually going to put it higher on the list. But unfortunately, it's not really a high resolution screenshot. So you really can't see how amazing this thing really is. Now, the detail on this is perfect. It literally looks like it's right out of the Charlie Brown cartoons. On top of that, he even went in a little bit more depth and put some shading on the heart there, some shading on Snoopy and it brings it all together i thought this was absolutely incredibly done on top of that i actually really also like the decision to make the background white for some reason with snoopy being white and the red heart i feel like that white background just really brings this whole paint job all together so like i said really well done and definitely deserving of a spot on the top 10 list after this coming in at number nine we've got one by sin rain 12 and if this one looks a little bit familiar it's actually for a pretty good reason this is actually a recreation paint job of a camo back from Call of Duty Ghost. Now in Call of Duty Ghost, this camo was just simply called Circuit, and it was actually available as a camo and as a reticle as well, but as far as a recreation, looks pretty much identical. The only downside is, once again, you can't cover very much of the weapons with paint jobs in Black Ops 4, so it doesn't quite look as good as Call of Duty Ghost. But for what he had to work with, I think he did a really, really good job. Now, the one thing I was going to mention here is that back in Call of Duty Ghost, you actually had to pay for this paint job to be put on your weapon. You had to buy it with your own money. Now, since paint jobs are a thing, you can simply make this thing for yourself and use it in whatever game you want, which I thought was pretty cool. But speaking of recreations, up next at number eight, we've got one by Remdog Ting, and this is, of course, the integer camo from Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And once again, I think he did an absolute amazing job of recreating this looks pretty much identical to that of black ops 3 once again the only downside is that you aren't able to cover the entire weapon with it just as a comparison as you can see here in black ops 4 we have the spitfire with the integer on it but going back to black ops 3 here you can see the vesper a definitely comparable weapon to this and here you can see the vmp so as you can see they look very very similar only difference being you can't cover the whole weapon in black Black Ops 4. After this, we've got one by Toastbuster69, and as far as this one goes, this is obviously the Union Jack, the flag put onto the weapon. Now, we've seen one similar to this before with the American flag, and once again, this paint job did an incredible job making the weapon camo actually look like a flag. Putting the shading in specific spots to make it look like the wind is blowing through the flag, you can see the ripples, and I think he did a really incredible job of making this look a little bit 3D even it, though it's just simply a Union Jack. Also, this is a perfect example of how a paint job doesn't need to be too complex to look really good. For example, this paint job is only 12 layers. Up next, at number six, we have my personal favorite paint job out of all of them that we looked at today. This is the Jazz Solo Cup paint job. Now, if you weren't growing up in the 90s, you probably don't know what this is, but these are Jazz Solo Cups. And if you ever went to a bowling alley, if you ever had a pizza party, and you were born in the 90s, you've seen these cups before. And this paint job is a perfect example of bringing something in from another reference and throwing it 
it onto a paint job. Now this one is made by Reddit user Cap Can You Not, and honestly, an incredible idea for a paint job, perfectly executed, and once again, brings me right back to the 90s, so extremely well done. Up next at number five, that halfway point, we've got one sent in by Roser24 on Twitter. And this is actually, once again, a recreation, but of a skin from CSGO called Monkey Business. Now, obviously, this is a banana, and the best part of this paint job is that if you're in a dark room and you're playing on multiplayer, it doesn't look like you're holding a pistol. It looks like you're holding a banana. And I always love to see with these paint jobs, I love the idea of taking a weapon and making it look like something else altogether. We saw this a lot in Black Ops 3, for example, someone taking the baseball bat and making it look like a lightsaber. Always love to see stuff like this. After this, we have the Black Dead Zero One on Twitter submitting a anime paint job to us, which once again looks really good, and I can't help but notice once again it's on the Strife. And I keep thinking that the reason why these paint jobs look so good on the Strife is it's one of the only weapons in the game that can be covered fully by paint jobs what i'm saying treyarch make it so we can cover the rest of the weapons fully that would be fantastic but as far as this paint job goes it looks incredibly well done as you can see the shading on the character's face really brings this one all together but on top of that you can see the pink background and choosing pink as the weapon color looks really well and once again brings the entire paint job together so just incredibly well done here after this, coming in at number three, we've got one by S Factor one on Twitter, and once again, this is an extremely simple paint job, but well executed and looks incredible. Now, as far as why the entire weapon can be covered in red, it is because there is a camo in Black Ops 4 called Massacre that's just a matte red color. So, what this person did is take that camo and then put the deadpool eyes on top of it and it makes it look like the entire weapon is a deadpool face on top of that the actual eyes themselves are incredibly well done the shading on them really makes it look like they're leather and actually like a deadpool mask so just incredibly well done here i thought a great use of space and specifically a great use of the massacre camo in black ops 4 as well now coming in at number two this is where things start to get really incredible we've got angry bulldog gaming on youtube and this may look a little bit familiar now this camo is incredible first of all the shading on it the amount of detail is insane but it also looks a very very similar to a reactive camo in black ops 4 now this reactive camo is called the take it personally reactive camo and it's unlocked via the mx9 but here we're looking at it on the icr and as you can see there is a clear resemblance between angry bulldogs camo and the actual reactive camo but I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like Angry Bulldogs version of it a little bit better than the game's version of it. The reason being, there's also a lot of shading he put into the other portions of the camo. There's different colors of red to accent the different colors of blue, different shadings to make it look 3D, and all in all, I think he did an absolute incredible job with this one, and hey, now if he doesn't have the reactive camo, he can just use his own paint job, and it looks just as good, if not even better. And coming in at number one, we've got one by either Anxi YT or Anxiety, I'm not sure what he wants his name to be there. Now, of course, this camo is of Dark Samus, and as far as this goes, I think the choice of the white background really brings out the character altogether. I think the mask and the shading of Samus looks absolutely incredibly done. On top of that, when you look at it in-game, it looks that much better, and I find that's a really good indication of how good a camo is. If it looks better in-game, that means you did an incredible job on it. But Anxiety actually took this a step further. You may remember in a couple episodes, episodes ago in the top 10 paint jobs, someone submitted a Nintendo Switch paint job on the Strife, and I said I would love to see people take this a step further and put some games onto the screen of the Nintendo Switch. Well, Anxiety did exactly that, and he put Dark Samus in the screen of the Nintendo Switch on the pistol, and man, does it ever look good. Once again, looking even better when you actually look at the paint job in-game. So, because he took it that step further, that is why I gave him the number one spot this week. But if you disagree with me, you like one of the other paint jobs better, feel free to let me know which was your favorite down in the comments below. You can even go ahead and rank them for yourselves. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and like I said before, if you did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. If you would like to submit your paint jobs to a future episode of the video, the way to do so, like I said earlier in the video, is to get a high-resolution screenshot and send it to me on Twitter, which will be the first link down in the description, or just send it to at 
ing slasher. But if you like what you see here and want to stay up to date on all my videos, the best way to do so is make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you have notifications on. Also, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out.